Imagine you are the CEO of Rolex watches, and one day you are walking down the streets to find out that your product's replica is being sold in the street market. This means the guy who sells it at some point in time would have made a good fortune using your brand name, and it surely costs your company as a substandard product is being sold on the brand of Rolex. The consequences of duplicate products could be even more serious in the case of medical products. Imagine buying medicines with the brand name of a big pharma company only to find out it's a fake product. But what could possibly be the solution? Well, that's what we're going to see in today's video. Welcome to Crypto Skills, the channels that make all the complicated crypto topics easy to understand. In this video, I'm going to explain to you one of the most important blockchains for businesses, the VeChain. Make sure you stay to the end as you will be surprised to find the reason why such an important cryptocurrency and blockchain is not a good investment for you. But please note that this is not financial advice. I will always encourage you to do your own research and this video can be a part of your research. Let's get started then. What is VeChain? VeChain is a business level blockchain that acts as a supply chain solution. What does that mean? Well, VeChain helps businesses to track down the movement of their goods right from the start till it reaches the hands of the consumer. Now, don't get me wrong. The offering is not something too unique. There are already several supply chain solutions in place to ensure that the product's origin can be tracked right to its source. The supply chain solutions have enhanced over the years with QR code systems and near-field communication, which helps businesses track their products. So, what makes VeChain different? The simple answer is that it stores the data on the blockchain, that is, the VeChain Thor blockchain. It focuses on integrating the Internet of Things devices with blockchain, which can do wonders. For starters, you cannot alter the blockchain easily. Other databases may be hacked, attacked, or misused, depending on their security, but not the blockchain. Once the data is recorded on it, it's pretty much set forever, and therefore is more reliable for the businesses and their supply chain. For example, say a bunch of goods are received in a warehouse. Now an entry is made for accounting the receipt of these products, which is then passed on to the VeChain blockchain. The information is then stored in the blockchain, which can neither be erased nor tampered with at any point in time. A unique ID number that is connected with the VeChain blockchain is allotted to the product through which the companies can track down their product and regulate their supply chain. This way, businesses can smoothen their business's process, prevent any discrepancies, and eliminate wastage. This may not sound interesting to you, but for businesses, regulating their supply chain benefits them immensely. Now, the success of a business blockchain like VeChain can be estimated from one critical metric its partnerships. Over the years, VeChain has made many partnerships. In June 2021, VeChain partnered with the hospital in Shanghai for launching the first blockchain-based in vitro fertilization service app for tracking the IVF process. Next, in July, VeChain came out with another partnership, this time with the Republic of San Marino. This partnership is about using eNFTs of vaccine certificates on VeChain and issuing blockchain-based pandemic passports. Sunny Liu, the founder of VeChain, made a statement that the VeChain-based passports offer more privacy when compared to the ones that are offered by the European government. In addition to this, in the month of August 2021, VeChain came up with yet another interesting partnership with a Chinese company to track their carbon footprint data in a way to reduce carbon emissions. Followed by, in September, a big four consulting firm, PwC in China launched a tool named AirTrace to track down the air quality in the city by using the VeChain blockchain. Fascinating, right? I know what you're thinking though. What's in it for you? This is useful only for the businesses. And you're right. VeChain is designed mainly for businesses and currently companies like BMW and Walmart are using VeChain to prevent scams and frauds. BMW uses VeChain to prevent their vehicles from any kind of forgeries, while Walmart uses VeChain for food safety. This way, businesses can also locate where the wastage occurs and prevent it. But it does not mean that it's completely useless for you. VeChain is still a blockchain having its, its own cryptocurrency, so if you're a crypto enthusiast like me, understanding its business was the first step to evaluate if it's a good investment. And so far, the business appears solid. But here's the surprising part. A solid business does not necessarily mean a good crypto investment. Curious? Although VeChain as a business seems relevant, legitimate, and brilliant, 
counterintuitively, its cryptocurrency bets is one of the worst investments you can make. And I'll explain exactly why I say so. But before that, please like this video to show your support. I strive hard to make high quality, fun, and simple crypto content for you. And I really need your support right now to grow my YouTube channel. All right then, to understand why VeChain is not a good investment, let's first get into how it works. As you might know, any blockchain requires a consensus mechanism. Since the blockchain is a distributed ledger, no one person, entity, or group has control over it. So there needs to be a system in place to ensure that the transactions on the blockchain are recorded correctly. Bitcoin works on a proof of work consensus mechanism, which is said to be the most robust and secure system. Ethereum also uses the same mechanism now, but is moving on to the proof of stake consensus mechanism, which is faster, but still secure. VeChain, on the other hand, uses a proof of authority consensus mechanism. In this system, an approved group of validators validates blocks on the VeChain blockchain. Although it is faster than other consensus protocols, it authorizes a few people with immense power to validate all the transactions. This goes against the notion of a decentralization for which blockchain technology stands for. It is almost as good as trusting banks with your money or big tech companies with your personal data. Therefore, even if you buy VETS tokens by believing in VeChain's business, there is a chance that if a group of validators messes up, you could lose your money. And that's exactly what blockchain usually prevents with their consensus mechanisms. Secondly, VeChain operates on a buy token design. The VET is a native token and acts as a store of value, the medium of exchange, and generates the second crypto, VTHO. VTHO is used by businesses to pay for using the blockchain for their supply chain solutions. The benefit of keeping a separate crypto for blockchain fees is to ensure that the cost can be kept stable by tweaking certain variables such as the amount of VTHO required to service a transaction or by increasing the VTHO generation rate. The VET token, therefore, does not have any real utility. Another concern for VeChain's business is China's crackdown on cryptocurrency. VeChain's CEO has announced that they are not facing any difficulties with the Chinese administration. Therefore, it is evident that the VeChain has a close association with the Chinese government, which is a separate concern altogether. But taking into account the Chinese decision to curb cryptocurrency, it can surely make VeChain experience extreme pressure and can backfire at any time. In conclusion, VeChain is clearly an important supply chain solution in the market right now but its cryptocurrency doesn't seem so investment worthy, at least to me. So what are your thoughts on VeChain? Are you fascinated by what it offers? But more importantly, do you think VET is a good crypto from an investment perspective? I'd love to hear your views in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please like it to show your appreciation for our efforts and consider subscribing so you don't miss our next bite-sized explainer video on crypto.